Hello, what's up, and what's happening? Welcome to Fantasy Challenge and Madden 08. I'm so excited to be able to bring this guy, bring this game to you guys because this has been requested for a long, long time. I think as soon as I started doing throwback games, this game mode in this game has been requested. Now, I'm a noob at this, so I'm going to need your help. Now, I plan on doing this game mode a lot. I might feature this on my challenge until I complete the game mode fully because there's different ways you could do this. You see that there's a draft type. You could do Hall of Fame draft. You can do a mini draft. I believe you can do the full draft. And you can also just pick your favorite team, right? Right there, favorite team. So those, I believe, are the options. Maybe there isn't a full draft, but I believe that the dream draft is you can just pick whoever you want. You know, if you want have Brett Favre, Terrell Owens, you just pick them. You know what I mean? But you have a budget, so you have to be careful if you do that. So the first thing I want to do is just a mini draft. The mini draft is there's a draft order. There's 15 picks. You have to pick, you know, the best 15 guys or whatever, or 15 items, kind of like Ultimate Team, and put them on your team. Now, this is more like fantasy football because there is a budget. So, in the budget, you know, you have some people that are more, that are highly valued than others. You know what I mean? Like, the tight end position, even though Antonio Gates, he's like a 97 overall tight end, his value was only at 19 because tight ends are not valued that heavy in fantasy draft. So, right here, I'm going to go with Stigman there. He's valued at 45 uh, overall, 45 value, 45 budget, 45 money, $45, whatever you want to call it. We we also went with Reggie Bush, Greg Jennings. We put the Barry in right here. We get Antonio Gates. You see, 97 overall. He's the best player on my team, but his value was only at 19. Kind of like a card and ultimate team that's, you know, just out there. Everybody can get their hands on him. So maybe like an elite TJ Ward, you know, the base elite TJ Ward. Everybody has one because he's only like 87 overall. So his price has started to drop. He's like, I believe last time I checked the ultimate team, he was going for like 10K. I saw one for 10K. So that just shows you how the value works. And that's kind of how this works. So this is a fun game mode. I'm addicted. But again, I'm a noob. I'm a noob at this. Never did this game. And if I would have knew how it worked, I probably would have picked differently. I, one thing that I messed up on was the DBs. You see, I get Seattle's DBs. That They were the last DBs available. If I didn't get a DB set there, I wouldn't have any DBs. I repeat, I wouldn't have any DBs. That's the crazy thing. I ended up picking two running backs, which was probably a problem. That was a problem. I'm going to tell you guys why in a second. So here, they're talking about protecting the players. You have to protect your players or they will be on other teams. So there's three players that I'm going to protect. That's Steve McNair. He's my quarterback, my only quarterback. Reggie Bush because he's one fast running back. And, of course, because he's in my heart because I love him. 52 in your programs, number one in my heart. That's Patrick Willis. So I protected those three guys, Patrick Willis, uh, Steve McNair and Reggie Bush. The reason why I protect them is because I don't want nobody taking them. Now you see right there that people are offering to get my players. They want Antonio Gates. They want freaking Pat Williams and stuff like this. They go somebody trying to get Deion Grant. And I'm like, what is going on? So I have to match their offer. So I have to spend the roster points. Now, uh, this is where I need help. I don't know what my roster points are set at. I don't know. So if somebody knows what the roster points are set at, please, please, please. Let me know <laughs> so I know how to budget my team right. So the thing is that at the end of every game, you get these points. And these points are used to help your players develop or you can use them as roster points. So I need to know how many roster points I have so I ain't go wasting these points on something I shouldn't be wasting them on. So I need y'all help. So right there, they got the Arizona Cardinals. They got Brian Westbrook. They got Bobby Ingram. They also have uh, Alex Smith, that quarterback. And look at Ingram take this thing to the crib i'm addicted to this game mode now in the beginning or before we started this game it had a picture of a baby that's the newbie league right now we are in the newbie league so it should be easy again this should be easy we're in the newbie league this is for beginners this is for the rookies man this is for the little babies that don't know what the heck they doing in life so we should have an easy time with this if i do have an easy time with this then for the most part we're gonna probably try and put two games in one video 
or I might just add another retro game of the day because I'm trying to have retro game series. That's why for my guys that watch the uh, NCAA basketball video, I asked for the name so we can start a series in that because I want to have more structure to my channel. I want to have retro game series, not just some random retro game, you know, stuff, yada, yada, yada. On Thursdays, I still have the random retro game, but on Tuesdays and Saturdays, if not more, I'm going to have those two games running, this game and the NCAA game, but I might just open up the whole week to retro games because I'm having a blast with it. I don't know. Right there, Alex Smith throws a bad pass, and look at Russell take this thing to the crib. Touchdown, Niners. I, I want to say the football heads, a.k.a. the football heads. Man, we're bringing them over here. <laughs> so that's Reggie Williams. I thought that was Roy Williams, but that's Reggie Williams from Washington, I believe, was the school he went to. Right there, Alex Smith throwing a horrible pass, and Kelly Jennings from the U takes that thing to the crib. Now, like I was saying before, I believe I said about almost three minutes ago, uh, according to the video, um, <laughs> about drafting. Now, I'm glad that I did a little mini draft, and I didn't wait till I did like the Hall of Fame draft, because you have to pick wisely, because at times, as I get a user interception, give me that, Yahoo, Zay, her. Um, Reggie Bush is like a corner. He's also a running back, but he's a corner. And the reason why I regretted picking a backup running back is because these players don't get tired. And from what I've seen so far, nobody has gotten hurt. So there really was no point to drafting any backup running backs because he's not going to get hurt. You know what I mean? So that was a new move on my point and or on my part. And then right here, Mr. Reggie Bush with the interception. You know he's going. You ain't catching him. Touchdown Niners. So that was a mistake on my part. Shouldn't have did it, but hey, I didn't know. I, I, this is my first time playing this game, but I'm having a blast with it. So we have a big time lead. We're just going to try and milk the clock for the rest of the game and try to get up out of here. Huh, I love this game. I, like, I'm about to jump on it again, man. Anyways, we get the ball back to Reggie Bush. Up that gut, picking up a huge gain on the play. Steve McNair hands the ball off to Bush. Bush gets away from one man, but finally gets brought in after the gain of five. So, second and five. We got a minute 19 to go in the third quarter. And look at Reggie Bush using that 4 3 speed, acting like he back at USC, picking up those big first downs. No need to go up that gut when they got Reggie Bush. Makes a man miss, gets brought down at the 30 yard line. We jump into the fourth quarter and check out the speed. Splits the defense like you're driving a NASCAR and he gets into the end zone. Touchdown, Niners. Let's go. Let's go. So now Alex Smith jumps about to pass, throws another interception. This time he throws it to True Font, and True Font finally gets brought down, and that's going to wrap this thing up. 38-7 to is the score. Be on the lookout for this. Be on the lookout for more retro games today because I might just open it up. I might open it up till we do this like every single day. I might do that. I might do retro games every single day of the week now. I don't know. But hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy being too. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. And check out this picture. I think that's what we're trying to get to the Powerhouse League. That'll be dope. But I'm going to get about here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, I enjoy being too. Hope that the rest of the day is the best of your day. And I'm going to see y'all later. Peace. Hot sauce.